All right, so here we have a 2014 Chrysler Town & Country. What we're going to be doing today is replacing the transmission filter, uh, which is underneath this uh, pan right here. All right, so we have a bunch of perimeter bolts. They're 15 16 uh, uh, bolts, so we'll go ahead and uh, start removing those. I have all the I have all these loose now these ones here I'm just gonna back them up just a couple turns and we'll get the pan to uh, to flop and hopefully we get a lot of fluid out without making a big mess <laughs> and then a little bit of a mess All right, so I'm going to push the pan back up and take out the last two one, two bolts. Take the whole thing. All right. All right. So now that we have our pan off, we're going to go ahead and pull our filter down. So we have two bolts. Uh, they are a Torx bit, so this is a T25. We have one here and one here. We'll go ahead and pull those down now. All right, now we want to just wiggle our filter out. Got some definitely got some dirty fluid there. All right, so now the next thing we want to do is we have our um, our gasket right here that holds the filter in. So what I'm going to use, uh, you can use a screwdriver or something. I got this a little pry bar. Just going to be very careful. Pull it out like that. All right, so we'll give this a few minutes to, uh, to keep draining out. We'll go ahead and uh, take care of our, our pan, get it all cleaned up. All right, so inside of our pan, one of the things we want to clean up and inspect, there's a magnet, right? So this is going to catch all of our metal. You know, so there always is going to be something on it. We just kind of want to look for big parts. That would be, that would be a transmission failure. So it's all pretty small. Uh, just, you know, from the frictions and the metals inside of the tranny doing their job. All right, so we'll go ahead and clean this up. We'll get our gasket off and, uh, and get ready to put it back together. All right, so before we put everything back in, I just want to show you this vehicle requires a special tool to check the fluid level. So uh, I have the tool inserted right now. Right? So when using the tool, they want you to push the tool all the way in until it bottoms out. Right, so this is, this is it bottoming out. Right, so I have the tool in there. That would be all the way down to check the fluid level. All right, so once we get it all buttoned back up, you know, we'll show you the top side of how that tool works. But I just wanted to show what 
is happening inside with that tool for the fluid level check. All right, so now we want to get our, our seal put in. All right, so I just have a socket that fits right around the perimeter so we can, so we can apply even force. All right, so I'll set that in. And then I just have a little soft blow hammer. So you just want to kind of walk it in nice and easy All right, until we're flush. All right, so now we can put our new filter in. All right, so we'll go ahead and put our Torx bolts back in. All right, so I just want to clean up the perimeter here with the mounting surface. All right, so when this comes from the factory, it's going to be RTV'd. Um, this was an aftermarket filter. This is not normally something that comes uh, with a tranny uh, filter for this vehicle. We're not going to put a filter back in. We're actually going to do it like the factory and we're going to use RTV to put it back in. All right, so we want to just make sure that all of our surfaces are clean. All right, so we'll go ahead and put our RTV on and we'll, we'll give it a cleaning right before. All right, so you just want to use some black RTV. Uh, this is the oil resistant. And we just want to go right around the perimeter with a nice, uh, nice little bead. All right, so we have a nice little bead around it. What we'll do is we'll just give it just a few minutes to uh, skin up. So I'm just trying to hit the four corners. All right, so now we want to go ahead and fill our tranny up. So we have our dipstick is down here. There's a little cap on top of it. Or at least our fill tube is right there. All right, so we want to go ahead and twist off the cap. All right. All right, so our cap looks like this. Got a little for dealer use only. This is where we fill the tranny and where we check it. So I'm going to go ahead and put my funnel into the dipstick or into the tube. All right, and this is going to be, since we just did the, the filter there, we're going to be somewhere in the four to five quart to, uh, to fill it. So I have five quarts. It is a Chrysler, so it's ATF plus four is what is recommended for their trannies. So this is a four to five quart usually. Um, so normally what you do is you got the four quarts in, you go ahead and start it up, let it warm up for a couple minutes, shift it through the gears, 
you know, put it uh, back in park and then we use the tool. I'm just going to go ahead and jump right into that fifth court. Um, you've seen how dirty the filter or the fluid was and all that stuff. So I'm going to do another service on this. Um, I'm going to go put like 100 miles on it real quick and then I'll do the same thing again and, and then really adjust it out. But I'm just going to go ahead and maybe almost overfill it. I guess we'll see when we get there, but I'm just going to go right into that fifth court right now. Okay, so we'll go ahead and pull our funnel out. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and start it up, let it warm up, and then, and then we'll check the fluid. All right, so here is a, a tranny level uh, tool that we got from Auto Parts Direct to you. All right, so. What we're gonna do is we're gonna put this in, bottom it out, right? So I've checked the oil temperature. So we're up to, we're up to uh, you know, running, we're about 160. There is a chart for temperature to fluid level, but basically we should be somewhere um, maybe 40 to 50 uh, with the operating, with a good operating temperature. That's where the fluid level should be, it's somewhere right around that area, right? So we'll go ahead and insert our tool. Now it does hit one little stop. We need to make sure that we get all the way to the bottom. So there's our first stop. We just need to, yep, you can hear it click, it goes through. All right, so now we're right on the bottom right now. All right, so we'll go ahead and pull it up. No, well, doesn't even look like we're on the stick. All right, so that was five. That was five quarts. We'll try it one more time. All right, so yeah, we're not even on the bottom. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and add one more quart to it. And so it looks like we're, we ended up right here. This right here is just residual going down the tube. All right, so we're, so we're right about here. Let's, we'll go ahead and check it one more time. Alright, so you can see it right around there, we're about 35. Alright, so we should be, with normal operating temperature, we should be, you know, no more than like 50, uh, but somewhere right in that 40 to 50. So we could probably use another, I brought it up pretty good, so I probably would only put about a, a quarter of a quart in there. I wouldn't put much, um, you know, to go from here. I wouldn't try to put a whole nother quart because you might be way up here uh, overfilled. All right, so after we finish all that, we're going to go ahead and reinstall our cap. All right. All right so we just put it in and we want to twist it and it will lock down. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and test drive it and then I'm going to go ahead and do this service all over again and try to get that transmission all flushed out from the torque converter and all the other internal parts.